Hello again and welcome to the uh, next video in the series. In this video we're going to be uh, working with DB2 DML operations that is insert, update and delete. In the interest of time I've already created a blank uh, page uh, that contains a grid view and I've also uh, created a sample uh, table which is DB2 web insert that contains an ID, name and email. The name and email are of type uh, varchar and ID is of type integer and is the primary key. So let's go ahead and connect to this table. Not going to be spending much time on the steps. Right, now here you'll need to know is we'll need to choose the star which is get me all the columns from the particular table. Now click on the advanced button. Now here in order to generate insert update and delete statements automatically click on this. Next choose optimistic concurrency in order to enable which is the which was the last uh, row that was being inserted or updated. Click on OK. Now click on next. Let's test the query. We don't have any records. Not a problem. Now check all these options. Let's place them here. Let's auto format this. Okay. Now in order to insert new rows into a table, we'll be using the form view control. Now the form view control is used to insert and update the uh, data from a DB2 table. Now let's go ahead and choose the SQL uh, data source. Enable paging. And under the default mode property, instead of read only, let's make it insert. Now let's go ahead and save this. Now let's run this. As you can see the uh, uh, data grid view has not displayed any information because there are no rows in the table. So let's go ahead and add a new row. Go ahead and add insert. Right. Excellent. So now we have actually inserted a new row into our DB2 table. Now let's go ahead and add another row. Right. Now for example, I forgot to add John's last name. So let me just go ahead and edit this. John McKenzie. Click on update. Wow. So even the uh, row has been updated successfully. Now let's try to insert one more row. Let's call it demo and demo the rate demo.com. Let's go ahead and insert this. Now obviously we do not want any unwanted uh, users to register in our table. So we're just going to go ahead and delete that. So our insert operation worked, our update operation worked and so did our delete operation work. So that is how easy it is to work with DB2 and ASP.NET 2.0's insert, update and delete operations. I hope you have found this very uh, interesting and educational. So in my next video I'm going to be talking to you about how to work with the stored procedures and in the final video I'm going to be uh, taking you through a a tour on using DB2 stored procedures and exporting them as a web service. So stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.